Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumshangilie Yesu tena. Hallelujah. Thank you. Nashukuru sana kwa chioni ya siku ya leo kwamba Mungu ametupa nafasi tena kuwa katika ukumbi na hema lake. Amen. Naamini kwamba yuko na mpango kwa ajili ya kila mmoja wetu na aliandaa na akapanga siku hii ili tukamtukuze na yakajidhihirishe kama Mungu katika maisha yetu. Haleluya. Kabla hatujakaa ningetaka tupate neno la Bwana mahali ambapo Mungu alitaka tusikie kutoka kwake siku ya leo na ni katika kitabu cha Jeremiah kifungu cha 29 mstari wa 11 The book of Jeremiah chapter number 29 verse 11 We are going to have the second text in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 and this is what the, the word of the lord says from the book of jeremiah for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end amen let us get our second text the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 this is what the bible says but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god hath prepared for them that love him father in the name of the living god thank you for this wonderful moment you have given unto us we are here my father in this holy altar king of glory expecting from you dear lord and our master and dear lord just like never before you are going to manifest in our lives king of glory in a wonderful special way dear lord in the name of the living god king of glory i commit them all unto you dear lord this night dear lord as you speak unto us king of glory may you manifest and come through for us dear lord in the name of the living god make your promises yes and amen dear lord king of glory as we live for you as we live for you dear lord i know that king of glory you are going to do wonders unto our life in the name of the living god and tonight our father and our master i know for sure king of glory you know and understand each and every one of us in this altar my father you know the cries of our our hearts tonight king of glory you know the desire yes, desires of our life tonight dear lord thank you master because for sure you are going to fulfill every promise in our life in the name of the living god father and our dear redeemer i commit your servants in congo king of glory and your able hearts and whatever mission they are carrying out oh dear lord how i pray for your power and manifestation of glory you are pure anointing dear lord to come down for them king of glory that they may minister in power and authority in the name of the living god for those who are made unto their way unto this altar tonight king of glory how i pray that master they are not going to leave this service the same my god because in your ways dear lord you are going to reveal that to them oh my father in the name of the living god thank you for your word king of glory is going to transform and change our lives tonight in the name of the living god may you teach us my father may you equip us king of glory give us revelation of your word master in the name of the living god and i declare from this altar tonight king of glory that nothing is going to stand on our way dear master 
in the name of the living God. We are going to walk in open ways, King of glory. We are going to meditate your word in open heavens, King of glory. In the name of the living God, let your holy angels take charge, King of glory. Let your holy trinity, my master, be we here with us, my call. In the name of the living call, we bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Get seated. Let us all get seated as we hear what the Lord has for us tonight. And the heading of my message tonight is the God's plan for you. God's plan for you. Hallelujah. Mipango ya mungu kwa achili yako. And I want to personalize this message that it is not God's plan for us but God's plan for you so that it might be a personal message and not a communal message. So it's God's plan for you. Hallelujah. And tonight people and children of God I want us to understand with the surety that we all have plans for ourselves. Each one of us seated in this altar tonight, we all have plans for ourselves. We have plans for today, we have plans for tomorrow, and we have plans for the future. We have planned what we want to achieve in our life. We have purposed and put even in paper what we want to achieve in our life before we go to meet our maker. People and children of God, in our plans, there are possibilities that we are not going to achieve that what we have planned to achieve. In our plans, there are possibilities that the objective and the timeline that we have put, we are not going to achieve it Neither are we going to have it come to pass because the plans of mankind is totally different from the plans of God. Hallelujah. As we have our plans of life, our friends also have plans for us. People and children of God, you might realize that even before you know something, people have already planned for you. They have already put opinions for you. They have already put sages for you. They have already put timelines for you. Because even people other than us, they have also plans for us. And you might also be surprised that even our enemies, they have plans for us. Not for good, but for whatever purpose they have for us. So what am I trying to say? As we have our plans for ourselves, as families have plans for us, as relatives have plans for us, even the enemy has a plan for us. But most important to let people, children of God, I want you to understand that there is the plan of God in your life. Hallelujah. As we plan for ourselves, let us understand that there is the plan of God in our life. Hallelujah. And this is what the Lord is saying unto his servant Jeremiah that I have plans for you. No matter what you are planning for yourself, you, my servant Jeremiah, get to understand this that heaven has plans for, uh, for you, that me, your maker, I have plans for you. That me, you are creator, I have plans for you. So as you plan for yourself, put into purpose, put into consideration the plans that I have for you. And tonight, people and children of God, I want us to understand and I want to let you know that God has a plan for you. Hallelujah. Let us call 
at our text, that of Jeremiah, that we may look at it keenly. This is what the Lord is saying to Jeremiah. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And another version will say, for I know the plans that I have for you. Hallelujah. Amidst your plans, amidst your sages, amidst your objectives, amidst whatever it is that you want to achieve, just to get to know this, my servant Jeremiah, that I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you and towards you, that says the Lord. Those are the plans of peace for you. Those are the plans of not evil for you. And those are the plans that you should expect because I'm going to give you until the end. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. People and children of God, we are living not in our plan, but in the plan and the time frame of God. And within that time frame that God has given unto us, I want us to know that there are plans that God has put across for each and every one of us. As even we are seated tonight in this altar, that there are plans that God has put across for you and for me because they must be achieved because they are in the calendar of God. Hallelujah. Can somebody understand what I'm saying? That whatever plans that God has put for you and for me, Nothing and not at any particular time that one plan is going to fail because he has framed them. He has planned them. He has even given them time flame and that all of them, they are coming to pass in your life and that you are going to live to see them come to pass. Hallelujah. I'm talking of the plans of God. Our plans will fail at one particular time. Our plans are going to be frustrated at one particular time. By the lack of resources, we are going to fail to achieve that what we want to achieve. By the lack of education, we are going to fail to achieve what we want to achieve. By the lack of good foundation, we are going to fail to achieve what we want to achieve in our dreams of life. But by the plans of God, you are going to achieve that what God has planned for you and for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Does it matter the foundation at which you are brought up? Does it matter your academic qualification? Does it matter what you have? Does it matter your position in the society? Does it matter who you are? But in the plans of God, he is going to make sure that they come to pass no matter who you are. Hallelujah. Understand for sure that in the society that we live, we have seen a class 3 dropout achieving it in life and being successful. We have seen graduates who are professors Failing in life because it was not in the plan of God. But those who are in the plan of God, they are going to excel and prosper because it is the articulate timetable of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People and children of God, the Lord is speaking to Jeremiah and even to you and to me tonight. And the Lord is saying that I know for sure the plans that I have for you, the plans to prosper you, the plans to bless you, the plans to make you and give you peace, the plans of good for you, and this is what I'm going to make you achieve because I'm Lord, you are God. Hallelujah. Pray the name of the living God. Lord is not telling Jeremiah by achieving this, I'm going to add this unto your achievement. Lord is not telling Jeremiah, when you become of this age, 
I'm going to do this unto you. The Lord is not telling Jeremiah at this particular time I'll do this. But he is telling Jeremiah, you and me tonight, that I for sure I have good plans for you. And I know what I mean. I'm going to prosper you and to bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. People and children of God, when we realize that we are in the plan, in the calendar, and in the time frame of God, then we are going to live according to the will of God. Then we are going to live according to the plans of God. Then we are going to live according to what pleases the call. When we realize that there are plans that God has put for us, then people, children of call, we are going to realize that it is not our effort, it is not our qualification that is going to get us what we want to be or where we want to be, but the plans of call, which he says that they are yes and amen, and nobody is going to change it. Hallelujah. He says his promises are yes and amen. If they are yes and amen, for sure nobody is going to change that. Nobody will interfere with that. Nobody, even standing or sitting, will make it not come to pass. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, if God be for us, who is going to be against us? Hallelujah. If God be for you, if God has a plan for you, if a God has good plans for you, and he says, if he, I be for you and be on your side, who gonna be a king is true? And tonight, people and children of God, I'm standing this altar tonight to declare, if God be on your side, and that he has good plans for you, nobody at all in this world, not even in the heaven, can stand on the way of the plans of God, because he's already on your side. Hallelujah. If, be, if I be on your side, who? Hallelujah. And the God is asking, if I be on your side, who is, can be against you? Hallelujah. Can you listen to what the Lord is asking? If I be on your side as your creator, if I be on your side as your sustainer, if I be on your side as your protector, if I be on your side as your call, who? Hallelujah. God is asking who? And nobody has ever risen to say that me I'll stand against. Hallelujah. The question was asked by God. Who will be against you if I, if I be on your side? Nobody has ever stood to oppose. Because it can never be opposed. Neither can it be frustrated by anybody. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. And from the text we have, we have read. People and children of God, I want us to ask ourselves several questions. What does God think of us? Let it be a personal question. What does God think of me? What are the thoughts of God concerning me? What are the plans of God concerning me? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. If we ask ourselves that question, what are the thoughts? What is God thinking about me? What is God planning about me? What is God putting across for me? Hallelujah. Most of us have never asked themselves that question because they even know and feel most probably they are not in the plan of God. That's 
a very hard question to ask yourself. And especially when you don't have any divine connection with God, you cannot ask yourself that question. But you realize if you are in a position to ask yourself that question, what God is thinking about me? What are the plans of God about me in my life? You realize that God has provided every answer to your question. And if God has provided every answer that you require for the same question, then people and children of God, we are going to live a life full of faith, full of hope, and full of righteousness. Hallelujah. We are not going to mix ourselves with things that are of no importance in ours. We are not going to engage ourselves in things which don't matter or count in our life. Because if God has already put in place good plans for you, that's the way we put plans for our children. We put plans for our family. We put plans for whatever we want to achieve. If already God has put across those things, then as children, sons and daughters of the kingdom, we are going to stay put and know that whatever course that we are going to take, whatever way that we are going to call, whatever the circumstances that are going to come across, that God already has a plan how he's going to pull me through it, how he's going to come through for me, how he's going to fight for me, how he's going to provide for me. Hallelujah. Because he already has a plan for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. How many times in our life do we not sleep because of stress? Stress zinatueka chini mpaka huwezi ukalala. Stress zinakuweka chini mpaka huwezi ukakula. Stress is in a quick chini, mpaka unapatwa na ulcers. But at the end of the day, you realize no matter how much stress you have, you cannot change anything. Hallelujah. You are so much stressed. You are so much frustrated. You are down, torn down. You feel that you are worthless. But when you sit somewhere, and you listen to yourself, you realize all these stress were of no reason. They have not helped me to change anything. Hallelujah. Because your plans will not move you out of the situation unless they are the plans of God. Your thoughts are not going to move you out of that situation unless that they are thoughts of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. And the God is saying, and he is giving you an assurance tonight that I have good plans for you. Worry not. Why the cry? Why the frustration? Why the stress? Why? 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 And I have good plans for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. God's plan in our life, they are complete. They are full of provision. They are full of protection. They are full of Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says from that second text of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it has been written, because it is already documented, it has already been put down in the word of God. It has already been declared by the word of God. It has been released by heaven. 
But as it is written, I has not seen. Hallelujah. I has not seen. Neither any here has ever heard. And it has not even entered into the heart of man what God has for those who love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. People and children of God. Yes, we have our plans. We know what we want. That's what we tell ourselves. We know what we want to achieve at what particular time. That's what we tell ourselves. But the Bible says, telling us that God has good plans for us because not even has the eye seen, not even the ear has heard. It has never even entered into our heart what God has for those who love him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. And tonight, people and children of God, I want you to understand that no matter what, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, you are not going to change anything. Neither are you going to change or alter the plans of God. He has already put them in place. He has put in place the required resources. He has put in place the required people. He has put across what you need for you to achieve what you need. Because it is in his plan. Hallelujah. The resources are ready for you. People to help you along the way are ready for you. Hallelujah. Not because of you, but because you are in the plan of God. Hallelujah. The plan of God. Tonight, people and children of God, when we realize God's plan in our life, we remain settled and focus on him alone. When we realize the plans of God in our family, we settle down and we, and we, we focus unto him. When we realize the plans of God in our careers, we settle down and we focus unto him. When we realize the plans of God unto our family, we settle down and focus unto him. Because it is only his plans that are going to prevail. If he be on our side, who is going to be against us? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. People and children of God, I know many other times when we have put our trust the only hope that we have in people, they have ended up frustrating and killing our dreams. They have ended up hurting us. And many people, many a times, they have walked out of our life the very important time when we need them. They have not stood for us when we needed them. They did not come through for us when we cried out to them. They did not help us when we needed their help. But tonight, people and children of God, I want you to understand that when people walk out of your life, God walks in at your life to stand in the position. Hallelujah. When people stand against you, God is in a position to sit down and to keep you in the position where you are supposed to be. When people sit down to gather the courage, to discuss you, to uh, they want to finish you, they want to frustrate you. People and children of God, I want you to let you know that there is God who stands in the position and he gives you what people cannot give you. People and children of God, when the schemes and the plans of the enemy, they have already been castrated to frustrate you and to put you down. I want someone to understand that there is a God who can never let you down because he can never shame you. He can never leave you because you are called by his mighty name. He calls you sons and daughters of the kingdom. 
the hairs of his life. Hallelujah. People are children of call. Many are the times when people have discussed us negatively and we feel that we are frustrated. We feel that we are finished. But people are children of call. The very moment people are finished discussing you and that they feel that you are now finished, that is the time that the Lord arises and he stands in his position and he says that this is my son. This cannot be done to someone that I love. People and children of call, when the enemy arises, the Lord, the Bible says that the call is in a position to lift the standard that the enemy cannot be able to achieve. That's what we are saying, the good plans of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is in the plan of people that they should be frustrated. It is in the plans and the calling of people that by this particular time, I want to see this son and this daughter down. It is in the plan of people that you should not achieve anything, but let somebody understand tonight. It is in the plan of call. Hallelujah. It is in the plan of call that he has good thoughts for you. It is in the plan of call that you are going to prosper. It is in the plan of call that you are going to achieve your dreams. It is in the plan of call that you are going to have good family. It is in the plan of call that whatever you want, you are going to achieve it because people cannot do anything against it because it is in the plan. Can someone understand what's saying? Does someone understand what is some saying? That people are children of call. People are going to call for a meeting. And you are the subject of discussion. How they are going to pull you down. How they are going to make sure that you are down. By people and children of call. When the enemy has a plan and the scheme to bring you down. That's when God arises and he says unto you, Be still and know that I'm your Lord tonight. Hallelujah. I'm speaking about the plans of God in our life. I'm talking about the plan of God in your life. I'm not talking about the plan of your family in your life. I'm not talking about the plan of your career in your life. I'm talking of the plan of God in your life. Hallelujah. He is saying to Jeremiah, and because Jeremiah is not living today, you are the Jeremiah of today. You have to partake the promise of the Lord. The Lord is saying to Jeremiah of today that I have good plans for you. This and to this, my son, my daughter, I have a good plan for you. The plan of not evil, but of good. Hallelujah. The plan of not to pull you down, but to lift you. Hallelujah. The plan of not to frustrate and to shame you, but to give you respect and dignity where you are due. Hallelujah. The plan of not to finish you, but the plan of good and long life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. The plan of God in you. Plan of God in you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. I want people, children, sons, and daughters of the kingdom, let us realize that every word that has been put in the Bible, every promise that has been put in the Bible, it is for us to proclaim. Hallelujah. For more than many years, even before we knew ourselves, even before we realized ourselves, even before we knew salvation, there were promises of God about you in the Bible. And unless you stand and proclaim them, nobody is going to do that for you. Hallelujah. We must stand and proclaim the promises of the Lord in our life. He has said so. And some of us here who have families and we have kids, you realize that when you promise a kid something, 
you better do it because you will not have peace. Hallelujah. You just better do it because you will not have peace. And just like so, because God has given us promises, we should not keep quiet. We should not sleep. We should proclaim those promises. It is him who has promised. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Bible says, as I call to wider, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 31. Isaiah number 14, verse number 31. That those who wait upon the Lord, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. For those who wait upon the Lord, he is going to renew our strength. We are going to mount like eagles. We are going to run. I will not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. For those who wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says, if we wait upon the Lord. And what are we waiting for? We are waiting for the Lord as we are wait for him. To fulfill his plans unto us. Hallelujah. We are waiting as we await for him to fulfill his plans unto our life. Praise the name of the living God. The plans of God in your life. People and children of God, in, div in diversity, and in broad godliness, in divinity and trinity, I want us to understand that God has taken every aspect into consideration of what we need in our life. Every aspect of our life that we need to be alive and to move on, God has already put it into consideration and he has given a limelight of how he is going to be in charge in that particular time and field. Having his plan for you, the plans of good, the plans to bless you, the plans to prosper you, the plans to protect you, the plans to provide unto you, the plans to fight for you, God is saying in the book and in his Bible that he is the blood of life. Hallelujah. He is the blood of life. He is the light of the world. He is the friend of those who, are not, who don't have friends. He is the bridge of the troubled waters. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So God is in charge of every aspect of your life. And he is taking a particular position that he is saying in this situation that my daughter is going through, I'm going to stand in that position with this particular way and this particular provision. Hallelujah. In every aspect, God has an attribute for you and for whatever case. Praise the name of the living God. The plans of God in our life. Father, in the name of the living God, it is your word, my master, we have shared what you wanted us to share. We have heard what you wanted us to hear. We have discussed King of Glory. 
and you have revealed unto us, dear Lord, what you wanted us to know according to your word. Tonight, our Father and our Master, may you make it come to pass in our life. May it manifest unto the life of your children. King of glory, let it never be asked where their God is. Because my Father, you have good plans for each and every one of us. For those who love you, King of glory, there is no eye which has ever seen, neither has ear heard, King of glory, neither has it ever entered into the heart of man. What you have kept for those whom you love, you love to my master. And tonight, my father, King of glory, the plans that you have for each and every one of us, my King of glory, how I pray that, dear master, our father and our redeemer, that you come through in a special way. May you manifest, King of glory, and let it be known unto the world, dear Lord, that, Father, we serve a living call who is in a position to keep and fulfill his promises in the name of the living call. I cover your children tonight with the precious blood of Jesus. And I declare that, Master, King of glory, nothing is going to stand on their way as they await for your plans to manifest in their life. In the name of the living God, let heaven be a testimony tonight. And let it be a witness tonight to the King of glory that we are going to walk in victory, in dominion and in power because in your plans, our master, you are going to fulfill them. In the name of the living God, we bless you and we exhort you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Kama ata sadaka yako, tumtole mungu. Plans of God for you. Let me pray. Father, in the name of the living God, my Savior, my dear Redeemer, thank you for providing unto us something to bring unto your altar. As we give our offering, King of glory, how I pray that our dear Lord, you are going to bless the work of our hands in the name of the living God. And what we are going to give in this altar as an offering, King of glory, it is going to do your work, Master, in the name of the living call. Father, we honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Walk forth and give your offering. share the grace as we stand. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Let's meet on Sunday 10 a.m. Good night.